All right, wanted to provide some quick instructions on how to do the missing persons project. So our unit with all the missing persons cases is coming to a close. We've gone through a bunch of cases, both local um, and then also some interesting national ones too. So now it is your turn to find some research on somebody else that we have not talked about. So here's the directions, let's walk through them together. So first, we're gonna complete the worksheet that starts on the next page, second page. This will requ require some research of a new missing person. So you're not looking into anyone we've already talked about. You're looking into a new missing person. You will conduct this research on your own using your Chromebook. Fill in the answers on the worksheet with information you find as you research. Notice, you must research someone who is no longer missing, AKA, they've either been found dead or alive. So it's not someone who's still missing. It was someone who was missing at one time, but the case, or at least the person has been found, whether they survived or not, um, either would work for this assignment. So let's take a look at this worksheet, starting on page two. Look up a new missing person, answer the following questions based on the info you find on this person as you research online. Please write your answers in complete sentences. All right, that is huge. We wanna make sure we're writing clearly. So we have a list of 12 questions, um, but it's pretty broken down, okay? Like one literally is what's the name of the person? Where are they from? Um, when, when did this happen? Where did this happen? Give me some details about what happened exactly. So you can give a lot of specific details here. So five should be a pretty developed answer. So should six. What did authorities or what did what did people do in order to help find this missing person? How long were they missing? So once again, you need to pick someone that has been found, whether they were dead or alive. Um, where were they found? Were they dead or alive? If they were alive, explain how they were affected. Um, so like whether they were in pretty bad shape or whether they've largely been okay since. Um, was anyone brought to trial in connection to this disappearance? So basically, has there been any leads as to what may have happened? Um, and then 11 is pretty similar, but it's still different. Was anyone convicted? So there's a difference between being brought to trial and being convicted of a crime. So we're looking into the legal part of this. And then this is just listing your links. So you can go back to them if you need them as you complete the next part of the project. So nothing crazy there on that worksheet. Um, number two, put all your source links, whether it's a podcast, article, video, whatever, at the bottom of your worksheet, like we just saw, question 12. You need to do this so I can see where your info came from, but also so you can go back to these if you need to as you're creating your project. Uh, notice in bold, you must have at least two sources that are two different kinds. So example, one article, one video. So you shouldn't just be having all articles or all videos or all podcasts. I want you to have at least two different kinds of sources or two different types of media. Um, it is also totally all right to have more than two sources. So please don't just limit yourself to two, use as many as you need. Three, once you've answered all the worksheet questions on the missing person you researched, you need to go to the next page in order to decide which project option you are picking. Um, the options are to create a question and answer worksheet, a lot like what we do um, or like we've done with our missing persons unit so far, like the things that the assignments that you will complete, you would create something similar, or you can create a slideshow to present the information that you've found. Um, follow the directions for whichever project option you choose and begin creating your project. Use the sources you compiled and also the work you've typed on your worksheet to help create your project. If you need to research more, go for it. Um, once your project is complete, be sure to proofread your work. You want to make sure that you've written complete sentences, proper capitalization, proper punctuation, and you have enough details in there so someone like me who may not know the details of your case can read through your worksheet or your article, um, or I'm sorry, your slides, and get a full idea of what happened in this case. Okay, so we want to give details. Think about it like you're teaching me what happened. Um, finally, we want to submit this uh, to Google Classroom when you are finished. 
and then this is worth 20 points. Points will be awarded based on meeting the criteria listed in the assignment options. So before I let you go, let's take a peek at those. So the missing persons project, you've finished your worksheet, um, you've compiled some sources, so you've done all this, now you need to pick one of the two options. So option one is create a worksheet. Your worksheet should have at least seven questions asking about the most important features of this case. At least one of the questions should be an extended response. So you should be familiar with these based on the assignments we've done throughout this unit. Um, because this type of question requires at least three sentences in response, it should be a thoughtful question asking about a person's opinion or an idea about something that has to do with this case. You will need to provide all the answers or an answer key to the questions, including any extended responses, write in complete sentences. So this is really the most important part. You can write questions fairly easily without knowing a lot about a case, but you're showing that you know about this case by writing the answer key and the answers to these questions. So these need to be well developed. This should not be a couple words um, for each response. It needs to be a fully developed, at least one sentence answer, and especially in the extended responses case, a multiple, at least three sentence answer. So we need to be having some depth on these if we are going to get full points for this option. Um, formatting, just have it be organized and clear, like which question is where, which answer goes to which question. There's really not a wrong way to format it as long as things are broken up. Please feel free to use the ones that we've done in class, like as a example to format based off of. Um, somewhere on the worksheet, preferably probably at the end, just list off your links so you have all your sources there. Um, and then proofread your work. Make sure that it's clear, written in complete sentences, proper spelling, capitalization, punctuation, all that good stuff. And then our second option, create a slideshow. So you're picking one or the other, the worksheet or the slideshow, creating the worksheet. You still do the worksheet at the beginning of the assignment, regardless of what option you're doing. Um, your slideshow needs to have at least seven slides showing the most important details, features, events of this case. Think of each slide as one important thing that you're talking about. Um, after your seven events, you need to include at least one slide giving your opinion on the case. This should be your theory as to what happened to the missing person, or if it's pretty cut and dry, explaining what happened to that missing person, your opinion of how it was handled, but you need to give your opinion on the case in some way, shape, or form. Uh, at least three pictures relating to the case or relating to the missing person or people involved in the case. So at least three total in your slideshow. Uh, for full points, we want to make sure that it's you know visually appealing. It doesn't need to be anything crazy, but we want it to once again mostly just be organized and clear. Uh, final slide, include the links to all your sources. So that would be an additional slide on top of your seven. And then proofread so we make sure everything is in order, just like we would with any other assignment. So that is our missing persons project. You will have some time to get working on that in class. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to your teacher. Otherwise, good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing what your research brings up for you and what you can tell me about it. Thanks.